This is probably something you've never seen before. It's a digital voltmeter with no battery. Uh, this is uh, new to me. I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, it's new to me because uh, I lost this meter in 1999. And uh, so it's been almost uh, 20 years. It was uh, somehow hidden behind the furnace when I worked on it. Uh, when I uh, tried to get to work again, it wouldn't work. Uh, this uh, one farad capacitor, which uh, they store up to charge, uh, had uh, become very leaky and it wouldn't last for more than uh, 10 seconds. If you can see on the gauge there, uh, we're at 5 volts. Uh, this charges up to 5.5. I charged it about a week ago and uh, it's still running. The, uh, what I do is I put a 4 farad uh, cap in it and uh, that's a little bit larger so it wouldn't fit in this space. But fortunately they uh, designed this for also uh, a meter that took a battery so there is a very deep uh, section you could put this uh, extra capacitor in. A little hot melt glue works nice. Uh, you can connect this to AC up to 230 volts and uh, on DC uh, 9 volts to 20 volts, either AC or DC. And when you're in these charge positions, it'll tell you the uh, voltage on the battery. So, like I said, I, I lost this pretty much uh, uh, shortly after buying it. Uh, the original plastic is still on. So, uh, we're going to do something I always wanted to do. Oh, oh, baby. I just love tearing those off. So now this is my new meter. It's uh, I bought it because every time I was out in the job, uh, I'd have a battery going dead or something. And uh, everything I worked on always had electric, so I could always charge this up, either with AC or DC. Uh, these never caught on, uh, but they're kind of nice. Uh, never have to buy a battery. So uh, there's a meter you've never seen and probably won't see it again. Thanks for watching.